Hi, this is Dan Murphy here today to show you the Password Pump, which is a USB-based password manager. The Password Pump will store up to 250 sets of credentials for your applications and websites. With the device, you can easily locate and supply credentials so that you can quickly log in. All of the credentials are stored and backed up on the device itself, not in the cloud or somewhere on your computer where they would be more exposed to hackers. The first thing I'm going to do is to log into the device by providing my master password. Your master password can be anywhere from 1 character to 15 characters, and it can be composed of numbers, letters, and most symbols. If I enter the master password incorrectly, I'm denied access to the device, and the LED turns red. I get a certain number of failed attempts before the device factory resets. Right now I have that set to 10 attempts, but you can set it to 3, 5, 10, or even 25 attempts. Once I enter the credentials correctly, the LED turns blue and I'm granted access. I do this at the beginning of every day and leave myself logged into the password pump while I'm at my desk. If I leave my desk, naturally, I lock the password pump, which locks my computer. Now I'm ready to browse through all of my accounts and select the account that I'm interested in using. I currently have 134 accounts loaded into this password pump. I'm going to log into three accounts to show you how this works. I know that I've assigned all three accounts to the group home. So to find them quickly, instead of browsing through all 134 accounts, I'm only going to browse through the accounts that are assigned to the home group. First I'm going to log into Fritzing. Now I'm going to log into GitHub. And finally, I'm going to log into Instructables. The easiest way to edit credentials stored in the password pump is via the Python GUI. On the password pump, I navigate to Edit with Computer and click. Then I run the password pump user interface and select the port into which the device is plugged. A list of all credential sets appears in the UI. Editing credentials here is very straightforward. I can assign groups to my account so that I'm able to more quickly find them on the password pump. I can also insert and delete sets of credentials here and generate new passwords for my accounts. I can backup credentials and I can restore credentials via the UI and I can export my credentials into password pump format as well as import from that format or from KeyPass format or Chrome format. With the exception of importing and exporting files, everything you can do via the password pump Python UI you can also do directly on the password pump without the Python UI. You can also edit credentials directly on the password pump and you can generate passwords there too. You're able to add and delete accounts with just the device, and you can backup and restore your credentials using the Backup EE Prom chip. You can assign groups to your credentials, and you can search for credentials by group. In the settings, among other things, you can set the auto logout time, the RGB LED brightness, and logins allowed before the unit factory resets. Finally, you can perform a factory reset operation which wipes out all of your credentials and sets the device back to its initial state before any credentials are added or settings are established. Go to 5volts.org to learn more about the password pump. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments.